Hi, in this movie we are going to explore the populate uh, section. Right now I am in the terraform section, I just created a very simple rocky terrain, rocky desertic terrain to be more precise, and uh, I'm going to terraform and have a 100 meters uh, terrain we ranging from 0 to 4 meters of height. Okay, and so here is my uh, desertic terrain. And uh, well, I call this section populate, but populate is not the only thing you can do here. I'm sure you notice this uh, semi transparent sphere that is following my mouse cursor, and this is actually a terrain brush. In fact, I, if I want, I can deform the terrain just brushing over it and look what happens. Well, as you can see, I'm just uh, deforming my terrain shape simply using my mouse. So, for example, I can create uh, some, uh, some small dunes here very easily. And uh, what I can do also, I can make my terrain brush uh, larger or smaller and have a different uh, higher or lower intensity. I'm going for example to have uh, an intensity of 8 and uh, a larger brush diameter, so you can see here now. And of course, in this case, the, the action performed is uh, stronger. As you can see, I can just easily deform my terrain. And the same way, of course, I can also lower the terrain mesh holding the shift key and clicking. I can reverse what I've done until now and creating depressions on the terrain. So, as you can see, I with this tool you can easily uh, modify the shape of the terrain that comes from that came from the terraform module and you can really have fun and create the terrain just as you as you wish without limitations all right so i'm now doing some more uh, terrain editing here and creating some small hills and dunes and later on we are going to populate this terrain as you noticed also the color gradient is changing because here in this case I'm just uh, making the terrain very high and so is getting uh, darker following my gradient map. And uh, of course you understood also that the, the, the semi-transparent sphere is just represents the size of my terrain brush. With smaller brush size I can do more uh, tiny and detailed changes and I'm planning also to have the possibility in uh, uh, later features that will be added to Infinito to actually use alpha maps with uh, the terrain uh, brush so that we will be able to deform the terrain not just using a circle shape like I'm doing now, but we will be able also to uh, to use alpha maps, and so we the changes that we will be able to do to the terrain will be even more dramatic. Okay, I'm going to pause this movie, and uh, we are going to have fun with uh, the populate options.